Yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was gonna do a video about talking about the, um, you know, how Smart Bash part timers, Smart Bashing the fucking Undertaker, Triple H match, or you know, they're cra bashing the Crown Jewel match. You know, you know, yeah, Crown Jewel was shit, but you know, the main event didn't suck. You know, it's just against Smart trying to fucking shit on part timers because they're, you know, they're fans of indie wrestling and bullshit. But yeah, speaking of that. Ironically, the uh, yeah, we're talking about Ross news. Ironically, we're talking about the Undertaker, and apparently he did an interview, and basically he's talking that truth, you know. So yeah, it's good stuff that the Undertaker, who is the man, the yeah, man with the power, the man I respect the most, the greatest of all time, ladies and gentlemen. He freaking uh, apparently had an interview. It's one of those rare interviews that Undertaker freaking talks off character and stuff, and he talked, he talks some truth. So, you know, uh, and he's, apparently it's like, what is wrong with today's wrestling? So, it's good stuff. But, you know, before I start, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. And I gotta refresh myself. No, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That nice cinema wine glass, man. Look at that. It's good stuff. Cheers, you motherfuckers. Fine wine, ladies and gentlemen. Fine wine. Mm. Ah, nice and it's the best thing in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's the best thing. It's made me want to fuck with the big black cats, make them go, oh shit, oh shit. Just like the reason motherfucking themselves, lions, reason motherfucker, but Undertaker's reason motherfucker. And you know what? Yeah, you know that's why you get to fuck with the big black cats. He's fucking mo a mitten, fucking Michelle cool, ladies and gentlemen. He's a school teacher, bitch boy. But you know, hey, give me a little bit of that school teacher, man. Oh shit, oh shit, you know. So yeah, The Undertaker basically points out the huge problem with today's wrestlers. Um, and yeah, basically what's um, how a problem with in wrestling today is everybody's overplaying it to the audience. This is from comicbookwe.com or something. Uh, hold on, let me make, make sure. Uh, what the fuck is this? Apparently, this is from comicbook.com, and a daughter website I, I referenced, which is the second title, which is called, um, what's the what, second website called? Second website is called, uh, it, it's, it's from the title, The Undertaker, A Problem With to Wrestling Today Is Everybody's Overplaying To The Audience. That, that website is like from Fightful.com or something like that. But I'm going to read the one from comicbook.com, because that's where I found two of these uh, sources. So this is from comicbook.com slash WWE. The Undertaker points out huge problems with today's wrestlers. And this is a quote from The Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you have to set the angle within the match. But you have to give the reason for one guy to be loved and uh, one guy to be hated. Taker said, at the end of the day, whatever you're doing in the ring, you want to look, make it look real. And genuine and authentic, and I think that's the huge problem. Everyone acts the same way. Everybody, everybody overplays to the audience, and it's just like, okay, wh what you do next? This is the Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, and what he's saying is fucking true. I'll elaborate more later. Taker's echoing what wrestlers, uh, what many wrestlers of his generation ha have already said. The, the use of high risk moves are, is a sloppy, uh, is slippery slop the, to Taker and his peers. To, to the more acrobatic involved in the match, the less sustainable things become. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Okay, during a rare interview uh, with Antonin, the Undertaker discussed the state of today's wrestling to him and few issues of how wrestlers put together in uh, in their matches in day uh, in this day and age specifically expanding the use of high octane maneuvers from taker's perspective the gener this generation of wrestlers too focus on outdoing er each other's stunts rather than focus on basic in-ring psychology you know how smart they think they know English psychology this is the real wrestler ladies and gentlemen this is a well, a real like this is a fucking legit pro wrestler ladies and gentlemen who actually is part of the business and knows the fucking business, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good farce style. <laughs> the 
Is that a fucking, is that a fucking fat guy? Is that a fucking act, ne neck beard? Yo, go back home, you fuck, oh, you Mexican piece of shit! I fuck you. Shut up. Alright. This is an article from Taker. Everybody's calling, they want to backflip off this and into that. Once you do that a couple of times, it's like, okay, what are you going to do now? Well, now I got to do two, uh, two flips into that, then, then two and a half. When they get to use that, used to, when they get used to that, what do they do? Instead of learning that thinner, thinner, nonsense, thinner, thinner nonsense. Sorry, I can't read. I'm fucking autistic. That's fucking well, I'm not really autistic, though. Really not, though. See, I'm not Indian, though. Really not, though. Instead of learning the f thinner nonsense of what we do and tell stories, granted physical painful stories, but stories nonetheless, he said. Without question, today's wrestlers are exponentially more physically gifted than their predecessors. However, their quest to put their, that athleticism on full display night and night out may be too demanding. While we do love the high impact moves, we pro probably love healthy wrestlers too, healthy wrestlers more. And as fun as it is, 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 it is to see those these creative spots in, in the match, if they happen every two minutes, then be, they begin to lose their effectiveness. Yeah. This is The Undertaker speaking the motherfucking truth. And he's literally fucking buried the sparks arguments. Just with this fucking argument, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an argument that's been few, no, no shortage in our internet discussion. Wrestling it looked uh, different than it than it did 20 years ago. While there no no inherently a a good thing, there is financial uh, foundational elements of a, sp a sport that should remain intact. And to, to takers and uh, not just storytelling will always be a better way to connect to the crowd than a moonsault. This is literally fucking true. This is the Undertaker literally fucking saying what is needs to be said. This is well spoken. This is why Undertaker is the greatest of all time, ladies and gentlemen. You know? Literally, freaking this is a guy who actually knows Ingrid and psychology. You know what motherfuckers yet yeah, they complain how Undertaker is old and he's a part timer. The motherfuckers still can fucking go. Oh he's slow. So what? At least he actually making the what, what he make it look real, you know? Like what he says to how he's trying to make, when a ma when he's trying to make a match realistic, you know? He's making it realistic with what he does. It's part of his character. This is what, what what needs to be said. This is from a guy who has who's been wrestling in the good old days, ladies and gentlemen. This is what needs to be said. This is coming from a great Ras who knows who the fuck he's talking about. Now Mick you know, no offense to Mick Foley. Listen, I love Mick Foley. Don't get me wrong. I love Mick Foley. But for fuck's sake, the guy is a fucking smart himself. He became, he betrayed who he was. Who he was. He became a fucking smart, a fucking smart Santa Claus. That's who the fuck he is. Okay? This is the guy who's speaking of fucking truth. Because this guy's been in the business for fucking 30 fucking years. Okay? And he's been, he, this is why he's the greatest of all time. The guy knows his fucking shit about angry psychology. Okay? Wrestling has not evolved, okay? G get this argument down, like, out of the fuck way. Wrestling has evolved to the point that, oh, it's indie style wrestling, okay? Yeah, this is what, like, because this is, like, what all the fucking bullshit is. Indie style wrestling he's complaining about. Because that's what wrestling has become. That's what fucking WWE has become. It's catered to more of the indie style bullshit. And that's what we're not, we're not supposed to get. Because if we get more of that bullshit, if wrestling keeps getting to fucking all, like, you know, like, what he says... You know, moons after moons after moon salt. You know, you know, doing all these fucking high spots. Which sure, they might be good for like one deal. You know, once at a time. If you keep doing it, it's gonna lose its effectiveness. Like this guy said. You know, this is proper fucking. He has knowledge of angry psychology. After all, he's been doing this for fucking thirty fucking years, and he's at, and he's known as the fucking one of the greatest of all time. So you if so all the fucking smarts are gonna fucking probably complain about under oh Undertaker said this he's just a part timer who 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 should just hog the boots he shouldn't be wrestling anymore yet for those motherfuckers who probably say shit like they think they know fucking wrestling they don't this is the legit motherfucker who knows his shit and he's actually still wrestling why because the fucking guy wants to fucking wrestle you know why why would Undertaker want to stop listen sure. 
you know, yeah, slow word of fuck, but I still enjoy him wrestling. If he wants to fucking wrestle, yeah, let him wrestle, you know? The, that's the guy, he could say no. He could say no that he doesn't want to fucking wrestle anymore. And apparently that's what he said, like, the earlier in the article, that, like, if, like, he'll decide when he wants, like, he doesn't, he might want to stop wrestling, but the thing is, he doesn't want to, apparently. And he's, he'll decide when. If the guy want to want to fucking wrestle, let him want, do what he want to do. And besides, for fuck's sake, Terry Funk, for fuck's sake, Terry Funk wrestled like he's 73 years old apparently, and he's still wrestling. You know. You know, it doesn't hurt to see the Undertaker wrestle one fucking ma like match a year. Oh, he's botching. Like, okay, like he doesn't really like. Okay, you know, here's the thing. A lot of indie wrestlers, when they wrestle, like, if you clearly see, fucking, a lot of indie wrestlers in the WWE fucking botch, and fucking women, and yeah, like, all these fucking smart, fucking smart fans, you know, they, like, they claim to care about women's wrestling and bullshit, fucking, most of the fucking Davis are botching. What makes th this fucking, uh, what makes him any different, you know? Like, oh, it's okay for them to wreck because they're young, you know, cause they're, they're young. Takers are stealing the spotlight. They should be the spotlight. Fuck off. You know? This is why fucking we need Undertaker more than ever, ladies and gentlemen, because he knows the fucking business. And for fuck's sake, he actually fucking does what he does, you know? Oh, he's hogging the spotlight. Again, he wouldn't be hogging the spotlight. If, you know, the show wasn't, wasn't that, it wasn't bad, you know, if anything, Undertaker would be, like, in the mid-card, you know, like, you know, like, you know, close to something, like a mid-card match or something, or even semi-main event, and some of your rising stars could probably be in the main event before him, or after him. But the thing is, the fact that why he has to main event Super Showdown with Triple H and, and fucking Crown Jewel with Triple H and Sean Lee Goose and fucking, you know, him, him team up with Kane is because, you know, no one's gonna give up fucking fucking fuck watching the fucking current product. And I hate to say the word product, but you know, it's just like, that's the thing. No one's gonna give a shit, cause why? Cause these motherfuckers, uh, this is, this is why, you know, people are gonna not want it, cause that's the sh type of shit. You know, this, the fucking indie mentality is this type of crap where they ra rather do fucking stunts instead of fucking proper in-ring psychology, you know? Making the math look real, for fuck's sakes, you know? This is like, this is beautiful. It's fucking, you know, like, yeah. This is what the thing is. Like, unfortunately, like, apparently that's what attracts na nerds nowadays. These are not real wrestling fans. You know, these, oh, I'm a real wrestling fan. I've been watching since WrestleMania 29. You know, these, the fucking types of fans that are watching now, you know, all these weirdos that are fucking these fucking agony, red, and fucking neckbearded, mongoloid, retarded fucking smarts that watch My Little Pony and fucking, you know, anime and bullshit. These types of fans, these weirdos, these nerds, that's what apparently they're attracted to. You know, oh, they want New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's what New Japan Pro Wrestling is, for fuck's sake. New Japan Pro Wrestling, ROH, fucking... You know, any Indian fucking wrestling fucking bullshit, TWG, CCW, where the fuck is that type of bullshit? That's what the problem, it's like, that's what the problem with today's wrestling in general. It doesn't make it look real, it's just all about fucking stunt and bullshit. You know, wrestlers rolling, rolling around with each other for 45 fucking minutes, doing nothing but kicks and bullshit, and fucking flipping fucking bullshit, you know? All this nonsense. Instead of actually making the match look real, and actually having character, you know? Well, and yeah, that's the thing, you know, wrestlers lacking character now, you know, moves that go with their character, what fits their persona, you know, characters, personas, but, you know, to put their ignorant psychology, you know, yeah, character, persona, and it doesn't help when the fucking match is shit, you know, if that, yeah, sure, it doesn't help when fucking there's like barely any stories going on and stuff, but like, it's not gonna help. When, like, literally, that's the mentality that, unfortunately, that wrestling is going to. And all these types of wrestlers are, are doing. You know, all these types of wrestlers, like, they're just relying on wrestling instead of fucking characters and stories. And just want to fucking do matches. It's not going to help. You know? It's really fucking stupid. So, yeah. I, I, 100, 150% agree with The Undertaker. He's fucking right with this. This is why the fucking guy is the greatest of all time. Like, seriously, there's nothing much I can really add. 
really, if you read this yourself, you would definitely agree. You know, it's not because oh he's the Undertaker, but it, it's the fucking truth. It's literally the fucking truth. You know. And again, like oh, if you want to just see, have to know or say. Again, these are uh, the people are probably saying that are fucking people don't even know fucking wrestling at all, or just fucking are just re delusional retards for fuck's sake, you know? They're all like, I just, oh, it's gonna take that way. I don't care. I'm watching New Japan. I wanna watch that. That shitty, uh, real wrestling, you know, whatever the fuck. You know, wrestling's fucking fake. I wanna watch, uh, not real wrestling. You know what I'm saying? They, these are the motherfuckers that still think that wrestling is real. Also, you know. They're like still into that bullshit, that's the thing. You don't get that it's fake. Yeah, it's fake. Wrestling has always been fake, but you know, it's entertainment, of course. But you know, you're supposed to entertain with like characters, stories, the build up to the matches and crap. And you know, actual proper in ring psychology. You know? Because like that, that's literally the fucking thing. Wrestling, like people say how the wrestling is better now, it's really not. You know, I, I find it really fucking retarded how people say the wrestling is better now. How is it better now? If anything, wrestling is so much worse now. Not only you have shitty wrestlers wrestling, people have no fucking charisma at all. You have fucking wrestlers who literally, again, like I said before, who do nothing but kicks and bullshit. Just do fucking striking moves. Strong style. Oh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Puro. Oh. I see. And super kick. Super kick after super kick. Super kick. Super kick. All this fucking bullshit. You know? Oh, Kamehameha. Oh, oh. You know? It's just fucking retarded. Yeah, it, it doesn't help when there's a lot of shitty indie wrestling where apparently people would use the force and choke slam somebody, apparently. And do, and they would fucking do the Tommy Ami Ha. Apparently, that's a fucking thing, people. And then you were kissing, uh, and you got ligation in wrestling. It's just like. It, that's why people don't watch it, because, you know, yeah. You know, it's, a, it's supposed. It's fake, but, you know, you're supposed to make it look real. You know, that way people could believe in it. Yeah. Two guys fighting, you know. Punch each other. Two, two fucking legit athletes punching each other, you know. That, that's like what, why people fucking watch movies in the first place, you know. It's, yeah, we know movies are fake. But, you know, we like to see action because it's like too cool. Like, for example, Arnold Schwarzenegger versus fucking, you know, like, you know, Predator. Okay. God damn it. Something like that. You know, a fucking badass. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, and, and for, and not just that. Fucking Rocky, fucking, the Rocky movies with Celeste Stallone. You know, facing, uh, like, fucking Apollo Creed and shit. You know? That's something like that. You know, you got fucking, uh, you, you're rooting for fucking uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fucking Celeste Stallone. You, you're rooting for him because he's a fucking, you know, you you love Celeste alone. It's like that. It's like that fucking mentality. You want to root for fucking bad. You want to you want to see fucking badass. You want to see fucking, you know, legit athletes fucking punching each other and shit. And, make, and of course, like, that's what it is in movies. It should be the same in professional wrestling. Except it's like a live action, you know. There's a live action you're seeing in front of your face. It's the live going on action going on, you know. And that's why it, it doesn't help when it's all this fucking gay shit going on and absolutely, like, you know, you don't believe it. You know? Yeah, it's great to see fucking stunts, but, like, as once at a time. It's like, And also, you mentioned this. How every fucking wrestler try to outperform each other, you know? Like, up every fucking... The thing is, not every match can be five stars. You have, like, people need to realize that not every match can be five stars, you know? Like, if it gets, like... Not every match can be long, like, every match nowadays, literally, every fucking match, it's like fucking 45 fucking minutes max of fucking match at, on pay-per-view and shit. And people wonder why WrestleMania is seven fucking hours, because every fucking match is longer than fucking five minutes and all this fucking bullshit. You know, back in the day, most wrestling matches, like in the after, weren't that fucking long. And they were just as good, if, even if they were short. Mostly the matches that were long are the main event, or the main event on pay-per-views, you know? Yeah. And that's what wrestling should honestly be, you know? Like, it's like, because not every match can be fucking five stars. It's just how it is. 
That's why fucking Goldberg's matches were even like fucking like kind of mean event fuel because it was like fucking, you know, short but it's sweet. Because people love Goldberg and shit. And they were entertaining those fucking squash matches. That's what we lack, you know? So, like, and plus, even fucking, for example, Goldberg versus Lesnar at WrestleMania 33 is a prime example how a short match could be good as well. Because that fucking match was fucking like close to five minutes. And it was just good for being five minutes. I would love to be a little bit longer, but like, you know, it left you wanting more. That's like what a match should make you feel in a way. You want something more, but it's not just that, but like, you know, it's perfect. Because not every match could be fucking five stars. Only like, if only like a one match in a show, like, was five stars and everything else could be like, good, too, that's perfect. But like, not, you get, people need to realize not every match could be five stars. It's just, that's just how it is. That's just how, like, that's what people, like, that's the thing. Like, every fucking match has to outperform each other. That gets fucking boring, you know? And that's how when fucking, you know, when the matches are boring and fucking the wrestlers are boring, too. You know, that's just, that's a, that's a side rant, too. Uh, side point. Um, so yeah, like, that's really, and yeah, the wrestling, in general, again, like, fucking, everybody doing kicks and flipping around each other, doing fucking stunts and crap. Yeah, it doesn't help as well. It doesn't help when fucking match for 45 minutes and fucking try to be five stars. Because not every match can be five stars. So yeah, again, I agree with The Undertaker. God bless The Undertaker. Undertaker is the greatest of all time. God bless him. Because he literally speak the fucking truth. Like, a, like for real. This It's the fucking truth, ladies and gentlemen. You know? And he's like, he's very smart as our arguments. So that's why he's the fucking greatest of all time. And no matter how fucking, you know, all he's old and crap, you know, he's still doing good at, at wrestling and shit. Doesn't matter, like, if he's fucking old, honestly. He's still wrestling good, honestly. Oh, he's slow. It's not, he's not that slow, okay? It's fine. He's still fine. Yeah, would it be, you know, maybe, yeah, it's probably good if he were to, but if he wants to fucking wrestle, let him be. You know, that's his fucking, uh, that's his fucking thing, you know? So yeah, that's all I have to say. Props to The Undertaker, God bless you, uh, for speaking the fucking truth. Basically, sp fucking Bernie Sparks' arguments, and yeah. Just saying, like, you know, actually speaking the truth of how today wrestling sucks and crap, you know? And what today's wrestling is, like, what's wrong with it. And yeah. And yeah, of course, this is probably also a little siren about long matches and fucking, you know, wrong with today's wrestling... Like how long uh, matches are long and fucking all this crap. Basically everything I ran into today. This is basically a little rant on fucking wrestling in general today as well. Uh, but yeah. Undertaker's right. It's good stuff. Again, I'm the reason motherfucker. Just keep it real. That's why Undertaker is keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Got the big muscles. You know. You know. You can see it, but it's good. Got big abs. Got big black couch. You fuck your bitch motherfucking couch. Drink so and wine. Go so magnificently. That's why Undertaker's biggest motherfucker is he's fucking fucking with Shell McCool. Who's a fucking school teacher and I fucking fuck with Shell McCool. You know, I love fucking school teachers. You know, that's why I fucking last school teach my Okay, I shouldn't even mention it. But you know, fuck it's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Oh shit, oh shit, good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Rich boy. <laughs> Alright. Till next time, please. Yep, yeah, bye.